Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be looking at some more money. First up we've got some money from China here. And this is the Chinese renminbi. But outside of China it's more commonly referred to as the yuan, which is the main unit of the currency. And an interesting thing about this particular currency is that it actually has two different subunits. For the yuan you have 10 jiao in one yuan, and then you've got 10 fen to one jiao. Here we've got 1 and 5 yuan. A little bit crumpled up these ones. Here's 10 yuan. Here we've got some coins. got one and five jiao. And then here are some jiao notes. Here's one jiao. We've got a two jiao note here, though the person who gave me this note tells me that this particular one doesn't get used anymore. And then five jiao. Some very nice colouring and artwork on these ones. Now here's some money from Japan. This is the yen. The yen did used to have two subunits. It had the sen and the rin, but they're not used anymore. They were both withdrawn in the early 1950s. Here you've got one yen and a much older version of the one yen coin. got 10 and 100 yen, and then 500 yen. Here we've got some money from Singapore. This is the Singapore dollar. You have 100 cents to one dollar. Here's one and five cents. Some very nice artwork on this one. A few different versions of the 10 cent coin. Twenty cents. An older version of the twenty cent coin. Fifty cents and one dollar. Here we've got some money from South Korea. This is the won. North Korea also uses the won, but they have their own version of it. The won used to have the jion as a subunit. On the back of the 100 won coin, we've got Admiral Yi Sun Sin. And he was a very famous military leader in historical Korea. And on the back of the 500 won coin, we've got the red crowned crane. Here we've got some money from Malaysia. And this is the ringgit. For the ringgit, you have a hundred sen to one ringgit. Some very nice artwork on these coins. You've got one sen. Very interesting with some of these coins. Some of them have sides where there's no writing at all, just images. On the backs of these old coins, you've got the Malaysian Parliament Building and the Moon and Star from the Malaysian flag. Here 
you've got one ringgit. Very interesting texture on this one. Next up we've got currency from some of the island nations in the Pacific. First up we've got Solomon Islands. Some very nice artwork on these coins. I wasn't able to find much about what this is, but I do know that on the dollar, on the dollar coin here, we've got Nusu Nusu, who is a sea spirit from the native Solomon Islands culture. And on the two dollar coin, we've got what's known as a Bacolo. And from the research I've done, these were ornaments of wealth that the native tribes would construct out of clamshells. And finally, we've got the currency of Vanuatu. This is the Vatu. The Vatu has no subdivision. It only has one unit of currency. You've got one, two, and five Vatu. Ten and twenty Vatu. I like how big these ones are. And a hundred Vatu. Another thing I like about these coins is, is how thick they are. It's probably the thickest coins I've got in my collection.